Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Food Accountant, welcome back to the channel. This looks like it could be one of the craziest promo Fridays of the entirety of FIFA 23 with the new Level Up promo coming today. And guys, the biggest question still remains, is this an SBC only promo with objectives alongside of it, or are these cards going to be in packs? Or could it actually be both? I want to talk about that in today's video as well as we are still a little unsure about what things look like heading into content today. Of course, we're going to break it all down, look at all the leaks, and where the market could be headed today on this game as well. If you're excited for the video and the promo today, drop a thumbs up on it and of course subscribe if you are new. Let's quickly look back at yesterday because we had some surprising content yesterday. First of all, a big time two SBC player release. The first one being the bigger of the two, Flashback Acuna. Four star, five star, high, high. We always love an Acuna position change into the midfield special card. They dropped a very nice SBC to end off the Shapeshifters promo as a whole. I mean, he's basically club 90 without having 90 shooting. I mean, really, really insane card. 90s everywhere inside the stats. To me, I'm calling this guy the budget Tony Cruz or the Argentinian Conte, right? He's stocky body type, five foot eight, and he's just kind of like a budget version of Conte in this game, right? He's only 130,000 coins to complete. Yes, his links are maybe not the best, but of course, he is just very meta in game as Acuna always kind of is. So that's a WSBC if you're on a lower budget. You need to get a midfielder in there. I think this is a great, great card. And yeah, just an absolute W from EA. Now we had another player SBC yesterday, which I actually did right off the bat just to try him out. Tobias Lauritsen, a 93 rated striker position change uh, to center back and uh, 90 pace. He is lengthy, really nice card. I used him in the cup for a couple of games. He was pretty good there. So 34,000 coins. That's the second North. Norwegian center back, of course, we had the Sorloth card earlier on during Shapeshifters. That was a W there, but the Acuna was the real big W of yesterday. I'm sure a lot of you guys are looking to use that card in the upcoming games this weekend in the Weekend League. We also had throwback marquee matchups, which wasn't too much to look at as it always is, but the biggest thing yesterday, not in SBCs, was the brand new objective extravaganza home and this was all based around i've already completed it. you're like nate you did it i did it yes this is all based around a kit i don't know if i've ever seen this before or maybe we have one or two other times but you get objectives done by completing them while being wearing the extravaganza home kit this kit in the store is seventy-five thousand coins guys i bought it yesterday because here's the thing this objectives gives you six thousand xp literally i went out played my cup games one two played four and scored 15 goals and i got six thousand xp which catapulted me from level 28 where i was before this uh, objective dropped all the way to level 34 did a few more things and now here i am at level 36 uh on my way to level 40 i was pretty far behind in the objectives if you find yourself at that same spot this is a great great objective to kind of give you a boost up if you've missed a lot of these earlier ways to get xp um, that's a great way to do it. I know it's 75,000 coins, so it is very expensive. Um, and there probably is more XP dropping today on the game. We'll talk a bit about that. But that was just crazy. 75k for a kit is kind of a flex. If you're on a lower coin amount, definitely not worth it. But for me, having a lot of coins and not wanting to go and grind all those like five draft games or whatever it was, five squad battle games, just going and doing that was a nice kind of option uh, to get through that objective. I know a lot of people are not super happy with it and doesn't you know make sense for a lot of people, but I thought that was a cool option, right? We like options in FIFA, and that gave us an option to kind of progress quickly in the XP department. Now let's talk about today, right? The promo of the day, the level up promo. We already have seen the loading screen, guys. We're going to dive into the conversation right here, right now, because with this loading screen right here, we saw this yesterday and we automatically went, or at least I did. I was like, wow, this looks a lot like an SBC and objective based promo. You know what this reminds me of? This, this loading screen looks exactly similar to a promo we had earlier on this year. Footballers, that looks pretty similar, right? Complete play two style objectives. You went from the 86 Luis Diaz to the 88 rated version with like, you know, the jacket on the sideline and stuff like that. It's literally the exact same type of loading screen. And it looks like we're somehow going to get an Enzo Fernandez today that's going to be 92 rated that we will be able to complete a level up your game objective and make that Enzo Fernandez become a 95 rated card with 95 physical. So there is undoubtedly some sort of level up upgrade objective and it's play to upgrade aspect to this promo but 
is there more to it, right? This confirms that part of it, and it confirms Enzo as the player. Uh, also, we don't know, how are we getting this Enzo card? First of all, is this 92 Enzo going to be an SBCs, kind of like footballers, or is he going to be an objective that we have to unlock, and then you complete another objective to level him up? That's still a bit unknown, but guys, where it gets really tricky is the rest of the leaks, because we have had a number of big-name players leaked. We're talking big names like Renato Sanchez, right? And the way he puts sure if it's leaking some of these cards, it almost seems too good to be true for an SBC only promo because if Foot Sheriff is getting all of these leaks in a short amount of time, this is very consistent with what we normally see for a regular promo team that is going to be released in packs, which is making me lean towards somehow this level up promo is going to have players in packs and maybe in those SBCs and objective areas as well. That's again, not known though. So we're going to keep looking through some of these leaks, right? Renato Sanchez, absolutely massive, massive leak. His moments card dropped over 100,000 coins yesterday. It is still down because we just don't know how this Renato Sanchez card is going to be put on the, on the game today. Is it going to be an SBC? Is it going to be an objective? Or is it going to be in packs? Just wait. There's more big names leaked. Alfonso Davies, right? We've seen this. We talked about it on the Twitch stream. All of these are predicted stats, and they're not leaked as SBCs, guys. They are leaked as regular players. So, again, the confusion is, continues to stay there with how these cards are going to be in this game today. Alfonso Davies, the Enzo Fernandez, of course, from the loading screen, and then three more names have just been dropped. Edinson Cavani is going to be a level-up promo card, and also along with that, Kevin De Bruyne. I mean, wow. We have a Kevin De Bruyne card in team of the season that is very, very good. I mean, this level up Kevin De Bruyne is going to be absolutely nasty. So um, this, like the predicted stats in this card are absolutely crazy. I mean, to guys, when I look at these leaks, it just seems to me like this promo is going to have players in packs. The more that I look at it, the more that I feel like I'm convinced that this is a players in packs promo, even though we looked at a lot of SBC and objective type content for how the summer content usually runs on FIFA. I mean, think about it. If these guys are in SBCs or objectives, this is going to be one of the most ridiculous promos ever. There has to be a catch, right? Like, there's no way they're going to put a 98 or a 99 rated KDB in SBCs or objectives, right? I mean, I guess they could because it's July, but like... Man, it just seems like EA would be doing something like this and having some of these cards in packs as well. The latest leak that we have is Timo Werner. He's coming out as a level up card as well. And that's going to be a really nice card for the pace, for the dribbling. He's going to be a very good striker in this game. Guys, the more that I look at these leaks again... It just feels like it's going to be a normal promo where we're going to have cards in packs, but then also some as uh, objectives and SBCs. Now, the card design, I'm just checking here, is not in the game as of yet. It has not been added into the game. Sometimes on early Fridays, we see the card design being added. It is not quite there yet. But, uh, I mean, technically, the unknown still remains here. We don't exactly know how this promo is going to look because we don't have a lot of news. But, man, let me know, guys, what you think in the comments. Of course, once we get the promo drop today, it's all going to make sense, right? It's going to be like, oh, this is what's happening, right? I don't exactly know what the level up aspect is of this. I mean, you see on the loading screen, you're going to level up the Enzo Fernandez, but I don't think it's ever been possible before where EA would drop a card in packs and then you somehow level that card up from buying it off the market like for your club like that doesn't make sense because then i don't know how that would work right so it feels like some of these cards are already going to be leveled up and then other ones are going to be we have to level them up ourselves with a level up your game objective so guys i'm so excited for today because there's still so much unknown about how this promo is going to be working and that creates some genuine excitement for me just because I, I don't get it. I don't understand what EA is doing here and I'm genuinely excited to see and figure out what they do, right? KDB is already in 97. What, what are they leveling up on KDB? Like 98 or 99? Like this is summer and this could be an insane promo. Some people are comparing it like, could this be as hype as summer heat with the cards that we've seen leaked? with this maybe being an objective promo with SBCs and cards and packs, could it even be as hype as Summer Heat was in previous years? I don't know. I will tell you this. There's going to be something in packs today. If somehow the KDB, the Renato Sanchez, and all these guys 
are actually going to be SBCs and objectives, uh, then there is 100% going to be cards in packs today. Regardless, it would probably be a best of re release ea for the rest of this year is probably not going to let us sit with nothing in packs right there's going to be something to pack in this game for the rest of the year because it is the end of the year and that's kind of how it always goes so either it's a best of in packs today or it's going to be these level up cards or maybe a combination of both right we will have to see of course if there is going to be a best of re-release you're going to see a bunch of those cards that do get entered back into packs uh dropping in price on the market and you're going to see a lot of these guys fall team of the seasons uh sorry team of the years would probably be included what we talked about earlier on this week would still stand true i would be very surprised if team of the season cards would be reintroduced into packs as a, a part of a first batch uh but maybe this is just a one-off promo before we start footies before we start you know summer promos like that and ea is trying to continue the hype of promo teams in packs with really high rated players and the normal promo Friday type of feeling. So again, genuinely excited for today, guys, because we don't know what is going to be happening. Now, since we don't know what's going to be happening too, let's talk through a few more scenarios, right? If we get an Enzo Fernandez today, which if we get him as an SBC first, you know, we have to watch the market. We're going to have to watch a lot of those midfielders. Um, your Prem midfielders specifically could take a big time hit in price. You're going to have to keep a watch on some of these cards like this Kevin De Bruyne team of the season. Like he's down because he's been leaked. You know, Renato Sanchez, Sanchez is down a lot because he's been leaked, but spe specifically Premier League midfielders and midfielders across the game, if they drop an SBC like a 92 Enzo Fernandez that's decently cheap with really good stats and the potential to upgrade it, people in this game, and I mean, I love this, right? That's just a concept that people would absolutely love to interact with. Imagine a 92 uh, Enzo that you can go and play some games with in Weekend League. And then boom, you can upgrade it to a 95. Like that's sick. People absolutely love the idea when this Luis Diaz first came out. There was a ton of hype around this card and people going and doing that. And you saw a bunch of Liverpool items and Premier League items go up a bunch in price because of that. Um, you know, that's the sort of thing we have to watch out for today. Watch out for midfielders dropping off if this is a really good SBC. And then maybe some of your other Chelsea or Premier League cards going up because people would want to fit this Enzo Fernandez into their team. Uh, so if that's an objectives, you know, if this is a normal Friday promo, what do we usually see, right? an SBC player and an objective player, um, sometimes a cup, and then definitely more XP. We mentioned that in the beginning, probably more XP coming today, some level up XP, I would imagine. I know a lot of you guys are at level 40, so it doesn't quite matter, but for me, I still need 4,000 XP. There's enough that's been released that I can go ahead and do, um, but if you're looking for more XP, there should be some more dropped. We have still 13 days left in the season, so I still think we're going to be getting a little bit more of that now let's talk about mark a little bit too with all these cards coming out today uh, i think the store packs the store on this game would be a very interesting place to watch i have one card in my own sign right now so i can't actually go there i do have an 85 times 10 i think do i have 280 uh, no 185 times 10 and 84 times 30 from all the packs that i got yesterday from objectives um today's a big day for packs too because if those cards are going to be in packs that is pretty crazy. And again, the market today is really going to be reacting to how insane this content is, right? If the promo ends up being an L, what are we going to see? We're going to see some of these shapeshifter cards probably go back up in price. Some of your more popular, your more meta ones that people have been wanting to use in their teams. Like Hugo Uris is a pretty rare shapeshifters card, 720, 730,000 coins. That is like the lowest that he has been. If we don't get a good promo today, I mean, Enzo Fernandez probably going to hurt this card a little bit i would imagine if his sbc has really good value uh that could hurt his card but you know the same thing kind of applies for maybe like goalkeeper kyle walker if this promo today is just not that good what have we seen during shapeshifters we've seen some of the lower tier cards from these promos actually do very well out of packs now walker's not a premium version of a card but if you think back to like shapeshifters team one you know frankowski and becker exploded out of packs even toko akami did pretty well last week I didn't follow these card prices as much, but I remember Adiemi, Raquel May, and Zaha went up uh, the day of that like, Friday night that they were kind of out of packs, right? Remember we flipped uh, Martial last week. He went from like 920K to over 1.05 million coins. So there could be some rises on the market for shapeshifters cards. If the content today is an L, I would also say content today would probably be seen as an L if the new level up cards, however we get them, especially if they're on the market, if they're very difficult to pack and uh, almost the feeling of unpackable, right? That's how it felt last week with Pogba 
Pogba was like, what, 9 million coins in the first hour last week? It was like, wow, this promo sucks because nobody can get this Pogba. He's literally like extinct on the market. Well, it took him all week. Now he's under 4 million coins. If the cards start very expensive today, that's going to be an L. Um, and if the SPC content, like if Enzo is very expensive or if it's tough to upgrade his card, then probably that would create some other bounce back on the market just because people would be like, man, why do I want to mess with these new cards when they're very expensive or the price is too much or whatever it may be? If there's just not a lot of hype today, you could see some cards going straight back up in value because of that. Now, also, I would say today, there's going to be some cards that go up regardless, right? You're going to see some players that are going to start to rise in value because people got to go play weekend league. Um, I was wondering, if the weekend league rewards were going to change i don't think that they are um but for maybe a promo later on this summer hopefully footies hopefully they do update some of the weekend league rewards to include shapeshifters because they did that last year in footies i would really have my fingers crossed for some sort of update like that again soon in this game i don't think that's happening today though of course weekend league starts here in a few hours so if the rewards aren't changing and there's no packs added to the code regarding rewards that's probably not going to happen. And then we got to talk about fodder too. Um, yeah, fodder is a really interesting place on this game right now because if this is an SBC promo, then you're going to probably see some of these cards go up. But at the same time, if it's an SBC promo, what would we expect? We would expect a best of in packs, which could in turn supply some of that really high rated fodder on the market and make these high rated prices drop some more so if it's a pack promo today i would say that would even bode better for the prices of fodder i don't think fodder is going to be specifically well today as an investment or do specifically well as an investment you've got the 88s back down here at like 12,000 coins you've got your high rated fodder dropping again your tots cards are dragging it down and there's not really any big sbcs that are refreshing today the 93 plus tots or shapeshifter that is not refreshing today. Um, you know, it's really, it's down to the player SPC that we get today. And if EA release anything else, like the 86 plus player pick, 85 times seven, those all go away. The daily login is available today. If you missed it and you're behind, you can catch up uh, for an extra day today on this game. You have one extra day there. Uh, but there's no massive SPCs in terms of like packs that are refreshing today. Usually icon packs refresh, but we don't have any icon packs right now. So that's not going to be happening. And then, of course, uh, trend goes away. The silver shifting upgrade goes away as well. Um, the crafting upgrade stays around for a little bit longer, but the shifting upgrade goes away. So if, like I got to do a few more of these, finish off my 10 for the day, and uh, that'll help me out with the Kamavinga craft, which is still going to be there as well. If you're still working on Kamavinga, you've got a bit more time. Um, but I would just be careful with fodder, guys. I really think that it's probably just going to stay around the same range that it's been. Unless this is an SBC promo, then it would maybe have a little bit of potential to move. But I'd probably be looking at prices like late tonight on Friday or maybe tomorrow on Saturday for a potential investment before we head on into this promo a bit more. And guys, it's going to be a day of learning, a day of kind of we're going to have to decide what this promo looks like and kind of react to it um, on, on the fly today. I'm so excited for the Twitch stream today. If you guys want to check it out, we'll be live around the content drop checking out this new promo seeing what it looks like what it's going to do to the game and hopefully what's insane cards we do get to see on this game today that link is down below in the description so check that out there and yeah guys i'm genuinely excited for today i am so excited because like this promo we have no idea right we have some leaks and players but we just don't exactly know what ea is doing with this thing and i'm super excited to figure it out today with you guys hopefully pack one or two of them get a good SBC and objective and just have a good summer weekend Friday on FIFA today. So if you're excited for the promo today, once again, drop a thumbs up on the video. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. See you guys in the Twitch stream today. It's been Nathan Foot Account. And catch you guys there. Peace. Out.